What's up? What's up? How everybody doing, man? I got a lot of questions. People asking me questions as far as, well, amp. How do you tight line down there? Like, what do you guys use? What lures? What pound tests? What kind of poles? What kind of sinkers? So on and so forth. So, I'm here today to try to answer these questions for you. Me, I run a sturdy stick. Um, I find these somewhere on the mile roads, uh, for like 35 bucks just for the ride. And then I'm running the Shakespeare um, open face spindle without the counter. Find that at Walmart, Myers, Dunham's, about 35 bucks. I run 40 pound main line, and I also run 40 pound lead line. First thing you're gonna wanna put on when you start your setup, so from top to bottom, so from the first thing that you put on to the last thing that you put on, to the, which would be the sinker. First thing you're gonna put on is a hair bead. After you put your hair bead on, you are going to put your three-way swivel on. Which would look like that there. So you have your main line tied up at the top, the one that goes off, empty, then you're gonna tie your lead line on the bottom one like that. So, 40 pound lead line for my sinker to a barrel swivel, all right? which will be where my two pound sinker goes on. I make my lead lines based on how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I run them anywhere between two foot to let's say four foot, all right, four and a half. So you take your three-way swivel, take your C-hook, you're gonna connect that to that, right? Bam, now I got my lead line. Well, you can put anything you want, pretty much, from a long A bomber from the long A bombers to a Challenger to the Salmos flicker minnows spoon Or you can even piggyback with some pencil plugs. So, so I will connect my first lure to the three-way swivel. I then will adjust my bead to the height that I want. I typically go from um, up as far as my hands can reach. Reason being is because, say if you get a double, one on the top, one on the bottom, if you're out of reach, you're not gonna be able to net both of them. So. So now I have my sinker, my first lead, and my bead set. We're gonna throw that out. Well, how do I get my second lead on there? So, threw my line in the water. I'm all set with the first one. Sit my pole down. Let's say I am throwing on the long A bomber on the top lead. So we will connect the long A bomber to another lead line. We will place anywhere from a half ounce, one ounce, your preference, once again, sinker on the opposite end. Now our line's in the water, uh, then take my sinker, put this side on the line. Grab my lure from the back hook, pull it the way that the current is flowing. So if you're in the, if you're in, Port Huron, the current flows from north to south, so therefore I will pull my lure towards the south so the line would not get tangled up or caught up on any of my hooks. Drop it down to the water. It will then sink down to that bead and stop itself. Then you'll get your action on your lure. Place my pole in the rod holder, put my bell on, it's basically set it and forget it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know as far as how to tight line by the Blue Water Bridge. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share, like, and follow the Hook Something By The Mouth page at Hook Something By The Mouth.